What's up, Kaijido Duel Masters? This is Kyle Reddish, aka Thunder Sultan, coming at you on July 18th, Thursday, 18th? Yeah. Uh, 2013, here at Legends Tournament Center. Uh, we're in the middle of our dual day. Uh, Robbie Stewart doesn't normally come to this location, so go ahead and do his interview now. Uh, how you feeling? Doing good. Doing All right, good, man. Doing good. Uh, your name is Robbie Stewart? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, how old are you? 25. 25. Where are you from? I'm Texas born and raised, right here. Uh, what stores do you play at? Uh, well, now Legends. Yes. I get out of work on time. Uh, Comic Asylum. Madness, World to Play. I mean, whichever one I can make it to, to be honest with you. So that's that's how you're getting all your ranking that's points and getting, stuff? I mean, I'm pretty crappy in the ranking right now, but uh, doing all right. All right. So. And uh, I know you've, you've played in a few KMCs. I you have. played in Comic Asylums. Yes. And also... Kansas, Missouri. And which of those did you qualify at? Uh, I, I qualified in Missouri. I wound up scooping to Sammy Huda. So it was 10 o'clock at night. Didn't want to, <laughs> did not want to play until midnight. Sammy, I love him, but he's a slow player. And it's good, <laughs> but I'm not staying there until midnight when we were in Missouri. But. Now, you you played in three KMCs and you've yes. top eighted all three. Yes, I got Very fifth impressive. place at uh, Asylum Richardson and Kansas with Water Dark Fire Control. Uh, Dragons went undefeated during Swiss and then choked in the top eight twice in a row. And then Missouri, I played Water Dark Light Nature and wound up taking it all the way. So nice. So you got a second place invite. Yes. Okay. And are you going to Seattle? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. Going to be there. Flights are booked. Hotels are done. You know, it, it's good to go. I, I ask because I think there are some people that have second place invites that won't go, oh, that's unfortunately, that's because of finances or time restraints or family. So just want to make sure you're going. And uh, have you been to Seattle before? No, this will be a first. I unfortunately won't get to go get the sightsee very much. You know, uh, I got a new job, so they're they're barely giving me the Saturday off to go up there. That was my next question. So, Are you sightseeing? Yeah, no, uh, I I don't get to do anything like that, sadly, because I'm going to be up there Friday night, and it's basically meet some people and go to bed. Yes. And then Saturday's R and D, you know, and the rest goes from there. So uh, we'll get to the R and D in just a second. What are you most excited about? Your Def whole trip in general. Definitely, I mean, it's meeting everybody. Okay. And getting to sit down with R&D, like that's amazing. Like I, I, I've been talking with Steven and I've met Preston a few times. We're good buddies. We you know talk all the time. And I can't wait to meet Steven. Me and him have been talking for months. Yeah. And just play testing it. And of course, the team Peach, the Carnish. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Actually, I would love to get some like uh, team matches in. You know, just oh, get some dude, that'd be fun. People, and we just team match and stuff like that. That's just, a very good idea. It'd be actually, something real fun, different, you know, to do. So good yeah. content. Yeah. Uh, are you prepared for the Q and A? Yes, I have a couple cards that I'm personally going to talk about. I've actually been just asking everybody around. Okay. You know what they what they want me to say. You know what do they want us to do? You know, I, I think it's a community effort, and you know the. the I think it's the best of the best going to represent the community and the community I think we have an obligation to yes. you know really go out there and try and get the best that everyone's going to enjoy you know, not just personal meetings so. I, I got my personal cards though I'm ready absolutely I'm ready. Uh, don't tell me what you're playing I'm, I'm not. but uh, have you been doing a lot of play testing yes and I'm still at no closer to what I'm gonna be doing that's that's what I was getting that's at like the it's so crazy consistent like I, it's gonna be a hard meta prediction it really is yeah, you know, it, it, there's a lot of paper rock scissor right now. There is. I, I have not felt comfortable with the deck yet. So hopefully in the next week, I mean, we only have so much time left. Yeah. I can figure out. Like I'll a, probably do what I always do night before, throw something together. That scares the, play, the heck so. out of me. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, just a couple of quick questions, just wrapping it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite shield blast? Terrapin. Nice, Terrible. nice. What's your favorite sieve? And I think I know this oh, one. Fire, I knew it was. Fire, I knew it, do it, do it. Come on. What's your favorite dragon? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, definitely a furnace the Awakened. That's not even a good choice. The card is the big daddy. I mean, just, oh, it comes down. Better than Emulator. Oh, a million times better. I agree. It wins games. It's control in its every essence. And I love control cards, so. Have you ever been uh, rushed and, and someone hit a bottle on turn two and you brought it no, out? No, see, I don't get that lucky. I can't. I, okay. <laughs> I don't okay. get that lucky. I'll just say I don't say. ever get it. So I haven't pulled <laughs> off the infamous bottle into Inferno and then I just, instant win. Just lock the, you the know, modifier. You know, I played you. I had to actually summon the dang thing. So, I mean, it's... <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's my favorite card all time. I can't wait to see more. Absolutely. And then uh, Ultra Pro makes the mat for it coming out in August. Oh, I can't so. wait. can't wait. It looks absolutely amazing. So. Last question. Uh, Unchained or General Skycrusher? Uh, 
See? See? I, I know what you're right, saying. Right now, it's Sky Crusher. Yeah. But I don't think Unchained's completely useless. I think it has some really good applications, okay. and it's definitely still worth considering. Maybe even running both. Like, it's just... The Unchained can get rid of a, a unprotected oh, yeah. keeper. An unprotected keeper, fin bar. Strider. I mean, exactly. Uh, There's so many. It, it just that one thousand makes a big difference. Watsy well, knows what they're doing, man. Yeah. Okay. So, I know what I mean, you're saying. They got it. But the the, the three thousand boost is a lot. I know. A lot, a lot of stuff. So. You you being such a dragon expert, you know. Uh, I've I just took you... down an Avernus of battle with <laughs> <laughs> the sky crusher. So. <laughs> Oh. All right, man. Well, that's Robbie Stewart. Uh, we will see you in Seattle. Good luck. You will represent Texas Thanks. very, very well. Appreciate and it. I will see you there, man. Of course. Thank you again for this, brother. Thank you. Bye-bye.